tell you what, I'll make you a deal, Breton. You stop telling lies about me, I'll stop telling the truth about you. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. Gordon Gecko returns to the screen in Oliver Stone's new film, Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. It's a crash course in all that's gone wrong in high finance in the years since Michael Douglas first played Gecko. CBS Evening News anchor Katie Couric recently went with Stone to the investment world's own center stage. So here we are. Do you feel like you're stepping into the lion's den at all? No, it was fun. This, this was, we shot this uh, floor in 1987. On the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, Oliver Stone still commands plenty of attention. How's the blue star? See? <laughs> 23 years after he made the original Wall Street, the film, an unvarnished and unflattering look at the financial industry, is still, for many here, required viewing. A couple of thousand up. I gotta buy some stock here. What do you offer to have? What are we looking at, Mike? Excuse me, excuse me. There you are. With 80,000 and a half. Same as ever, right? Good looking guy. The agitated man with the mustache is real-life former trader Mike Ritigliano. You haven't changed a bit. Yes, thank you, Kevin. It's all lighting. This is the longest 15 minutes of fame in the history of mankind. Because this was filmed in 87, and we talk about it every day. Wow. It's, it's just part of the Are you worried that this 1987 film was so successful in capturing the zeitgeist? It was kind of a kismet moment for, for the American psyche that it's going to be hard to replicate it. Because I know this is, this is the first sequel you've ever done, right? If I really wanted to do a sequel, Katie, I would have done it in the 1990s, because that makes sense. It's more fresh in the memory, you make more money and stuff. I mean, you're facing 23 years later, no, some people are, there's a whole new generation that doesn't know the original. So, no, I'm fine. I really did this movie because it was worth doing on its, because of the 2008 crash, and that gave it a definition, a background. Yes, sir, thank you, Mr. Gecko. Thank you for the chance. You will not regret this. You're with a winner. Right. In the original Wall Street, a young trader, Charlie Sheen's Bud Fox, gets involved with a predatory corporate raider, Gordon Gecko, in one of Michael Douglas's most notorious roles. Come on, pal. Tell me something I don't know. It's my birthday. Surprise me. At the time, it was a cautionary tale. But compared to the recent economic crisis, it seems almost innocent. In 1987, the stakes were smaller, the cell phones were bigger, and the prevailing mood could be summed up in one iconic phrase. That greed, for lack of a better word, is good. The new movie, Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, follows another young trader, played this time by Shia LaBeouf, who falls in with a very fast, very rich crowd led by Josh Brolin as a villainous super banker. So disappointing. Now I really saw so much in you, Jacob. Michael Douglas reprises his Oscar winning role, picking up Gecko's story as he's released from prison. And one mobile phone. A man who has lost everything, including the love of his daughter, now engaged to LaBeouf. We're supposed to make each other feel safe. And ready and action. Like many of his movies, Wall Street echoes Oliver Stone's personal life. He was born in New York City, the son of a successful